Yeah, everybody, welcome back to the channel. Nice to see you again. Today's video is going to be about this tank again and some new inhabitants for them. If you are already a subscriber, you may already know what these might be. If you're not, click that subscribe button and make sure you don't miss any future videos. But we've got some very tiny nano fish. So tiny, in fact, that to go and capture some footage of them, I had to break out the macro lens. Let's go and have a look. So here we are back in the fish room. Not all that much to tell you about. Everything's as it was the last time. Um, we've got the rams which we're trying to feed up. We've got the rainbow fish which we're trying to feed up. Uh, white cloud or golden white cloud mountain minnows. Blah blah blah. Today we're looking at these guys. Um, these are the smallest fish in the fish room. They're even smaller than most of the fry in the fish room. Um, I'll give you an example of what I was talking about with the macro lens. So you can just about see them, obviously. Not focusing very well. So these are the Celestial Pearl Danios, or Galaxy Rasboras, sometimes they're called. Um, just with this lens, even if I zoom in with this lens, that's a little bit better. It's just hard to focus on them. They're really fast. Really small. But they took quite a while to colour up. They took a good week before they started getting any decent colours. So I'll swap the lens now and see if we can't get any actual decent shots of them. I think I managed to get maybe two seconds of usable footage there out of about half an hour of trying. Um, they're quite skittish. So we'll get these out, we'll get them into a little tub, and we'll take them upstairs and put them into the tank, and hopefully we can get a little bit more up there. But while we're here, um, these guys I got at the same time, these are some of the neon, dwarf neon rainbows. Uh, if you remember me telling you there was a little bit of a mix up where I asked for all females and they gave me three males, three females. In the end they gave me half my money back. Apologise. So I'm, I'm fine with that. But, but what that means for in terms of breeding is that I need to, I don't want these fish. So I'm either going to list them on the website for sale or maybe move them up into the display tank in the living room, the discus tank. Not quite sure yet. Um, but yeah, I'm going to take the females out of here, so we've got three females, move them down into the rainbow tank uh, and take some of the males from here and some of the males from down there and put them up in the discus tank. So with tiny little fish like this, um, I only need a little cup like this to catch them in. Um, I know the temperature, the parameter, the water parameters certainly are the same as they are upstairs. The temperature, I'll check that and make sure it matches. But it's really going to be a case of getting them in here somehow get them in the new, tank, uh, the new tank upstairs. They really are quite skittish though, so I'll probably have to remove everything so as I've got a chance of catching them, but we'll see how we do. I'll try and set you up so you can see my feeble attempts to catch some small fish. Now I've got them in the cup, obviously it's a little easier to see them, but obviously they're also a little more stressed out and their colours are starting to drain. 
So I think it's going to need a, a better cinematographer than I to give you some good images of these guys. Or you could just trust me that these are really colourful, really intricate patterns. Really pretty cool fish to the naked eye, which I'm struggling to show you on camera. Okay, let's get them in. Got a little cup here. I'm not going to get any brilliant pictures of them, I'm afraid. And... Oh, that might work, actually. Yeah, that probably would work. I could get some close-ups of this, but the colour's practically all gone. Because they're getting a bit stressed out. So I think it's probably best if I just get them in there. All I'm going to do is just slowly let them get in. Everything's matched, all the water parameters are the same. Just going to let them out in their own time. Let's see if I can get them a bit closer for you. And now they stay still for me. Bloody hell. Again, I don't know if you can see this on the camera, but they have seem to have almost instantly coloured up. And the light's picking up their reflection of their pattern really, really well. As you can see, they're almost outsized by some of the shrimp. The tank as a whole, obviously we've still got the killifish in here. Just down there investigating. I don't think they're going to give them any trouble. The female killer seems a little bit interested in them. She's done a little bit of chasing around, but hopefully that's just inquisitive rather than murderous, but we shall see. I hope you can see a little bit more of the pattern being picked up now, especially with these lights making it a little bit easier to see. So I think that gives it a little bit more movement and activity to this tank and quite often the killifish will just have little flourishes and then hide most of the day. Um, whereas what I've noticed with the Galaxy, well, Galaxy, Rasbora, Celestial Pearl, Danio, they seem to be interchangeable names, I don't really know which one's right. Um, but they certainly seem to be a lot more active, so hopefully it'll give a bit more movement to the tank. And um, what do you think? This wide shot, I think it's starting to fill in really nicely. The plants and the colours are looking good. These new lights that you saw in the last video, they're still doing really well. Um, I think they're giving a little bit of a growth spurt even in the last week. I quite like that, I think that's done really well. So just a wee quick update for everyone there, um, as always if you haven't clicked that subscribe button and then you won't miss any future videos. 
um, click the notification bell if you really don't want to miss any future videos and leave me a comment down below let me know what you think what do you think about these fish um, they're fairly new to the hobby as in um, a few years rather than decades or anything like that but something I've always been interested in so nice to have them at last Right, folks, catch you next time. Thank you very much for watching, and we'll see you in the next one. Bye!